Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we'd take a n another quick look at masks in CapCut PC. I've previously done a couple of videos on um, how to create the horizontal and mirror and circle masks. I think some of those have changed names in CapCut recently. Um, but today we're going to look at um, doing a rectangle, heart and star mask. So to get started, we're going to use two clips, which I've downloaded from pixabay.com. Um, we have this young lady here that we can see for the first clip and the background clip that we'll be using is um, this woods clip here. Again, both from pixabay.com. I'll put links to them in the, in the comments. Um, so, right, I've brought down the first clip onto the timeline. And what I'm going to do is select our first mask. So of the three, we're going to do rectangle, heart and star, we said. So we're going to select rectangle. OK, we now have our rectangle shape. We can move this around. We can make it more square if we want. We can increase the size, whatever we want to do with it. Let's do something like that. Once we're happy with the shape, what I want to do is I want to add a border, a stroke frame, call it what you will, to each of these uh, masks that we're going to do. So next thing I'm going to do is choose the color for the border. So again, make sure your clip is selected. We're going to come back now to the basic tab and we're going to scroll down to the bottom where we see canvas. Now, before we move on, I just wanted to, to mention that if you do not see canvas um, when you're doing this, if you give this go yourself, it's probably because your clip is not on the main line. You've probably got it up there. And if you take it up there, you'll see here, we, we don't have the canvas option. So if that ever happens to you, it's just a quick tip, make sure that you're on the main video editing line. So make sure that's selected, come back down. And now we have canvas. I hope that kind of made sense what I've said there. Um, so on the canvas, we'll select the drop down and we can add a color border or we can add a style. I think we'll use style today. I used colors for the previous videos. So let's look at the styles we got. Click on the down arrow to see a few more. Here we go. And what we'll do is I'm going to use these three styles for the three masks that we're going to do. So I'm going to select the first style. And that gets applied to the whole of our clip. OK, so now what I do is come back to our clip right click onto it and select create compound clip. That now basically creates a new clip, which also incorporates the mask that we've just generated. So once we've got that, so this is now a new clip entirely as far as CapCut is concerned, we're going to come back to the mask tab. We're going to come back to rectangular and we'll see our mask again. And then we want to start fudging around a little bit and trying to make our border. And it can be on any shape other than the circle. It really can be quite fiddly. So let me just, oh no. if I take too long at doing this, I'll just, Not perfect, but that'll do. Otherwise, I'll, I'll be here all day. So we've got our first mask. So all we need to do now is we'll do the same for our next clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this clip, which we are now finished with, with the first mask, I'm going to bring it up a layer. Now I'm going to bring down our clip again and we're going to work on the main video editing layer so that we get that option 
that we saw before. Okay, so we do exactly the same thing. Um, I'll disable that view there while we're doing this. Um, we're going to come back up. We are going to now we're going to do the heart mask. So we're going to select on heart. We've now got a heart mask. We're going to do what we did before. Size of it. Yeah, the other. Happy with that. So we now want to come back to the um, basic tab and we're going to give it a color. We're going to scroll down. We see canvas, which is great because we're on the right line. We're going to select style again. Come down, look at the styles. And last time we chose this one, we're going to go for the next color along. So we've got that. That's great. We're going to come back to the clip and do what we did before. We're going to create a compound clip. That's created. Now we're going to come back to mask and we're going to select the heart shape again. We're now going to make our border. Do for me for now and that's our second one done so we'll do what we did before with this clip we're gonna move it up one or move it up two even we'll just make sure those clips are in you need to make sure those clips are in line and now we're gonna bring down our third and final clip of this young lady bring that down it's on the main it's on the correct line so Make sure it's selected and we're going to do the star mask. Oops, sorry, let me just hide uh, hide that so it's not distracting us. So yeah, we're back up to the mask and we're gonna select the star. And exactly the same as what we've done before. Well, I'll not make this too big because I need a little space at the top for the border. Let's just do something like that. Okay, we've got our mask. So we come back to the basic tab. We scroll down. Woohoo, we can see canvas. So we know we're doing the right thing. Click the drop down, back to style. Scroll down and we'll use this style here. Once we've done that, we're going to come back across as we did before. We're going to create a compound clip. We've got our compound clip. So we come back to mask and we select the star again and we create our final border. So let's just move back and say this one is probably the hardest of all of them to do. But I'll just try and get something that looks half decent and that's going to do me for now. Once we've done that, we are pretty much finished on the um, creating the masks. So what we'll do next is we will now add, I'll, sorry, I'm just going to move this one up like we did with the previous ones. And I'm just going to hide that as well. We're now going to add the background clip. So background clip doesn't need a mask. I'll just shorten it to tidy up, make it the same length as the other clips. Okay, so we're at the point where we have our three masks and our background layer. What I'll do now is I'll switch on each clip in turn and position it. Now the most important thing here is to remember is when you select your clip, it would help if I unhit it. Don't try and um, this is a mistake I keep making is do not try to move your mask while it is on the mask tab. Come across to the basic tab 
now you can safely move your mask resize it whatever to your heart's content so let's just add this one here deselect it so we can see what that looks like that's fine that's the first one done we'll now come to the second clip i'm going to unhide it again check up here that we're not on the mask tab we're on basic so we're fine so i can move this image around and i'm going to put that somewhere in the middle like so click away from it just so it looks okay yep that's fine last clip unhide it make sure we're not on mask we're on basic we'll pull that let's make that smaller maybe a little bit bigger You get the idea. So you can move these around to your, to your heart's content. And I think we're about done. So if I just select away from those clips, now I'm going to press the home key. And now we'll press play. I'm going to use the space bar on my Windows keyboard to um, run this clip and see if this works. So yeah, that's fine. So there you go. We're pretty much done. So we've added three masks there in only a couple of minutes. Um, I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for your time and goodbye.